Hi, another part of the Cancer Chronicles. Uh, how to deal with the aftermath of cancer. Uh, one of the things that you have to deal with after you done your treatment and you're cancer free is dealing with any symptoms that you have, you have to report to your oncologist. For example, I was getting dizzy and so I called my oncologist and I told her and she kind of freaked out and which made me freak out because she ordered an urgent MRI of the brain. So of course I Googled like crazy and that's one of the first places that cancer, uh, breast cancer can spread to. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I was freaking out. And it turned out it was not cancer. It was just osteoarthritis of my neck. And I've never been happier about a diagnosis of osteoarthritis in my life. I was like, yes, I can take that. I can just do, you know, physical therapy. It's not cancer. I was so happy. But then I had a couple more scares, right? And so it always freaked me out. I was so anxious and, you know, it takes time to get the test, get the results. So I figured, you know, there's a way to deal with this, with this anxiety. First of all, I will never let the possibility of having cancer ruin my today because that's all I have is today. I'm going to enjoy my day and not think about it as hard as it is not to think about the possibility of having cancer. I will not think about it. That's one of the ways that I deal with it. And if there's anybody out there who's going through the same thing, I mean, feel free to DM me. I will help you out and tell you how I deal with stuff like this because it can be it can be really nerve wracking. But just one day at a time, you don't know if you have cancer or not. You might not have cancer. And why ruin, you know, like 10 days waiting for your results and doing the tests of your life, 10 days of your life, which are precious. Just enjoy those 10 days. Don't think about it. And go about your business because it might not be cancer.